So welcome to oh, my show, go ahead, my friend. <laughs> the Mind Pump Chat. Take only over. because I'm the only one with a shirt on. You've got. I got a shirt on. You've got, yeah, but. <laughs> I'm ready to chop some wood. Ha! It's not Mind Pump, man. It's yeah. not Mind Pump. Well, it's not Mind you know Pump, I mean? but. I got mine though. Look at that. Let's go, Rocky. We just right, had, we just had we your Rocky theme music that we were playing. So oh, come on, show so us here's, what you got here. Here's the deal. There's a huge myth with with ab training that you have to do light, uh, you know, high reps, light weight to to get a nice uh, midsection six pack. But the muscles of the core are same like as any other muscle in the body. They build and they build best with heavier resistance. So I'm going to show you an exercise um, that I first saw on Rocky IV. Oh, <laughs> by, bam, the way, by the way, bam, bam, bam. cinematically, one of the greatest movies of all time. <laughs> it's oh, <good>. too <laughs> There's an argument there. I but, guess, uh, so. but I saw this exercise there. I replicated it. It's extremely difficult. There's lots of tension, lots of resistance. So I only, uh, only those of you who have strong core muscles should attempt this. But if you do this, it's a lot of resistance. It'll build the abs like nothing else. This exercise is probably, this and Roman chair sit-ups, I would say, probably the two most responsible for my abs being able to build out. I was able to get a better six-pack. All six I can hear is eye of the tiger while yeah. you're doing so, this. So you're going to start, you're going to use a bench because you need something to anchor on. You want to hold on to the bench behind your head. And what I'm going to do, and I'm going to talk about it before I do it because it's difficult to talk while I do this, is you want to come up on your shoulders and kind of straighten your body out a little bit. Not completely straight, you want a little bit of a, a core crunch at the top of the movement. And then the key is to hover your body down to where it's hovering above the floor and bring it back up without your butt touching the bench. Okay, so let me demonstrate. Mm, important point right there, actually. So here's the starting point. Glutes and abs are totally tense right now as he does this. That's the key is to be able to keep those abs super tight so this is basically a lot like a front lever in gymnastics. And that's the movement. It's a very, very high load movement. But let me tell you, if you have a strong core and you do this, you will see some gains. Now, would you show the absolutely. regression uh, of this where you just kind of roll up and you lift your butt off and before you get to the point where you're dropping down like the dragonfly? Like, what yeah, would you... That's a great, that's a, that's a great question. Because somebody so, who wants to get to this point... Yeah, like, the ultimate... So, it, the, the first regression would be just a, a regular crunch, reverse crunch. Just getting used to this movement right here. Then you would come back and come up, come down and unroll. And then as you get better, you could start up here and just come down a little bit mm -hmm. and come back and eventually move to greater and greater ranges of motion.